Hi Seekers, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. It is always a blessing to have you right here. Today's reading is for Aries. Aries, this is your day to shine. I'm trying to get everything set up right for y'all. <laughs> this is your day to shine, honey. Please go ahead and shine bright like a diamond. Also, please make a friendly note that if this reading does not resonate to your situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means here that the reading is not for you today. However, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And turn the post notification on so that way you will always be the first one to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me. Because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they will push the videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love. And thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love, y'all. And believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Let me turn this around this way. That's pretty good. All right. Okay. Now, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, all right? Because it's so critical when you thumbs up the videos because the videos will go basically go flat if you don't. So go ahead and show some love and thumbs up the videos for me, okay? I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart. All righty. Now, I'm going to get into a quick prayer because on this channel, I do pray. And um, then we're going to just tap into your energy and see what angels want you to know. So let's get into a quick prayer, y'all. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give you all the praises. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, please uh, take from this reading what resonates to your present situation, okay? Because it will not resonate to every single one of you. Just take from the reading what resonates and leave the rest. Leave the rest for the dumpster, okay? For the trash. All right? If you have to pick one, two, and three together, the reading is not for you, okay? Now, also know that this reading is a general one, so that could mean it will pick up your person's energy, past present or future person whether you're with that person or no or not or whatever that it will pick up all right now also for the cross watchers this could be you as well so also take from this what resonates to your situation and i'm also taking personal reading so if you need to have a personal reading with me set up just go ahead and connect with me check the description part of this video and you'll see exactly how to connect with me to have a personal reading done all right well, i think i covered everything there so, angels, let's get to work for Aries, please. What is the energy? What is the energy? So, I want to say that they moved on too fast here. You move on so fast, but I do need you to forgive me. Please forgive me. All right? Okay, let's take whatever comes to you, okay? But someone moved on very fast here and someone is asking for forgiveness maybe for moving on so fast sorry about hurting you sorry about hurting your feelings um if i could i'll take it back uh, they wish that they could take this a uh, hurt back all right so i'm getting somebody moved on here very fast into something else to someone else and someone is asking for forgiveness here and someone is saying, um, I'm really truly sorry for hurting you, okay? For actually for hurting your feelings. Um, if I could take it back, maybe I, I would if I could, but I can't. All right? Now someone is saying, okay, it doesn't matter because I don't want any lukewarm love. That's not what I'm looking for. I never wanted to stop loving you, okay? Even if we never get back together i never wanted to stop loving you even if we never get back together that's not my intentions i want you to be happy here okay this is what i really want you to do i know i might have betrayed you 
but that was not my really my intentions to to betray you i'm truly sorry truly sorry here stay focused you got it some of you are going through a hard time right now trying to to make a decision for your happiness here because you definitely love this person but someone here is definitely moving on here's what i'm feeling what is the present energy what is the present energy please There you go, new beginning. So someone really wants to start something new here. Um, wherever they're planning on moving on to, someone is definitely taking the time to start this new beginning, this new chapter in their life, okay? Um, for some of you, this person didn't give you any closure on why this, this is happening, on why they're moving on with someone else, okay? Wow. But angels are saying past is a past. They're saying that the past is a past here. I feel like some of you are definitely holding on to the past here and it's kind of really slowing you down tremendously. Tremendously. Holding you back. I'm devoted to this relationship. I'm feeling for some of you, you're definitely devoted to this relationship that is no longer. Okay. Um, I do feel a sense of maybe your person on the other hand, they might have got themselves into something where they are maybe devoted to that situation now. And I do feel like because they are kind of devoted to this situation, it's definitely putting an unhappy taste in your mouth. Someone is getting really unhappy here. Let me fix this, adjust this thing here, y'all. Okay, I'm getting unhappy. Give it a try. Moving on. Letting go. Because someone is not committed to making you happy right now. Someone is committed to making themselves happy. Yeah, they're stuck with a rat karmic. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, they're making themselves happy. Someone is stuck with a rat. Um, and they're caught in the middle here. But angels are also saying, through all of that, you need to know this. Someone wants forgiveness. Okay, they want forgiveness. They're hungry. Or they feel hunger for that forgiveness. I feel like this person is trying to run away from drama. Uh, maybe they're trying to have you get caught up in a drama with them. A love triangle. I can still remember her last or first date. Reminiscent. Now that I'm older though. To me, you're more like a stranger. I'm looking at you from another angle as an iniquity. Something else that's not normal. I'm going about I'm going about my ways and trying to find a way to of renewal here. Just let go. I'm just say let it go, okay? It's time you take time for yourself. Retreat and get your life in order. This person left you for dead, okay? Your person is trying to be someone they're not. Trying to fit in with the rat karmic. Okay, this is what they're busy trying to do. But yet they want forgiveness. Because they feel ashamed. Why am I not happy? Are you asking yourself? Why am I not meeting people that loves me for me and appreciate me for me? Angels are saying this. That you need to start praying. To be complete, you got to get things done. No more playing games. 
I also want you to know this, that the evil that was sent towards you was sent back. It was all infatuation here. It is also saying that they stay recording your conversation when you talk to them, okay? Blackmail. They want to claim you. Or they don't want to claim you. Or they won't claim you. It's just not the right time, honey. It's not. It is also saying here, God will fight for you. God will fight your battles. He has not given up on you. Even though you feel that like God has forsaken you, he has not. He's hovering over you. More than you'll ever know. Hmm. Look at this. See that? God will fight for you. God will not forsake you. Somebody need to hear that. So I'm going to say I really miss you. This could be your energy. This could be a person's energy. Speak to me to music. Reminiscing. Okay? Having a hard time letting go. But your person is selling sex on social media. Okay? Proposing to someone you know. Stocking your bank account. On the low. Trying to find an escape. And you getting hurt. Fighting for power. But angels are saying, please don't call. The medicine first. Don't love, don't cost a thing, okay? It's for free. Don't be scared. Wear your crown and begin to understand. They wasted your time loving them. After you've worked so hard and invested everything in the relationship. But you should have never done that. But it's okay. Angels are saying it just was not meant to be. Angels are also saying this. They know that you want to be with that person, okay? You just want to be happy. That's what it is. But that pay a person is a stranger. They're stuck with no way out. Wow. Can angels let me have some clarity here, please? Someone is a total stranger here. Um, someone is very stuck. Someone is having a hard time um, walking away from the facts here. Let me have some clarity, please. All right, y'all. What is the present energy here? What is the present energy? What is the present energy for Aries, please? Aries energy, Aries person's energy, and all those that has attached their energy to both. What is the energy? Okay. All right, so this person at this particular moment, they have no ambition, okay? Because 
they definitely downgraded. Ended up with a a karmic here. Okay. Don't ch they chose the wrong path. Ended up with a karmic on period. All right. I do see. Hmm. You're definitely going to have to make some changes as far as stability is concerned because this person here is walking in the shadows here and they will have you walking in the shadows if you're not very careful, all right? Let me bring this down so you can see the cards a little bit better. All right, so I am getting here. The world is yours, okay? I'm getting stability. I'm getting hard work and dedication here. I'm getting the bonds of joy. I'm getting fulfillment of joy. I'm getting whatever it is you need. It will be given to you, all right? But I'm getting distraction as well. With the justice card being here, I'm getting clarity. I'm getting um, you're seeking justice here, but I'm getting you don't have to seek that justice because that clarity and that um, joy and happiness will be manifesting towards you because you've been treating very unfairly here. I do feel like some of you may be doing it with some kind of a court, something, something that has to do with papers, okay? Um, that is like surrounding your energy here. I do feel like you need to be positive or staying positive here with the justice card being here. Now, the lover's card is definitely here as well, okay? Um, and I'm with the lover's card, I'm feeling that there's definitely some kind of a separation that is coming through, okay? Uh, a very solid separation that might, it feels to me like this, this separation is kind of set in stone. Um, I do also feel like um, when this person left, they really left you feeling very hurt and very isolated here. Now, <laughs> because this is weird because the lover's card is here in the reverse and then I'm having the chariot here and I feel this person is really selfish, selfish in a sense where they have intentions of either coming back to you or wanting to be in your life, even though they're committed, um, into a third party entanglement here. Okay. They still want to come towards you. But they're moving rather slowly. It's like they're coming and they're not coming. And I do feel like um, you definitely have to keep yourself covered and protected here from this energy because you have strong emotions that is caught up and tied up with it. It's easy for you to go back in the reverse here. Even though you know about this third party, you're easily trapped because there's a lot of feelings and emotions that's caught up with this, um, this person, okay? I do feel a sense of you should not wait. Whatever plans that you have for yourself as far as moving forward, being strong, dip tapping into your strength and figuring out a way of path, your path, I feel like you definitely have to remain at a distance with this energy if that's the direction that you choose to go because I see a sense of taking this person back, okay? Hmm. I feel like you should wait. You shouldn't be waiting here because they're definitely... Tying themselves closer to this third party situation here. Mm. Wow. With the sun card being here, this is the, the back of the deck that you didn't see. I do feel like um, this person is definitely not happy with themselves. They're definitely not happy with themselves. And I do feel a sense of their entire situation is falling apart. Now, this could also be you. Because this person is having you uh, feeling like... Your world is falling apart here, okay? And because you feel like your world is falling apart, they might have you feeling like there's no way out for you. But I feel a fresh start is what you need. This person is persistent to be in your life, even with the third party entrance, okay? Because the dead card is letting me know that you're trying to end something, you want to start something new, but they're still coming in for a second chance. Even though for some of you, you might have already met someone, or maybe kind of not so, so sure about that particular someone, but it might be someone that's in the picture here that this person is kind of putting a damper on you moving forward because you're holding on to this situation here and not really seeing what's in front of you, okay? Now, that is your reading for today. Um, I hope it did resonate. Don't forget to pray, y'all, because prayer does work, okay? But most of all, always remember to seek first, and you will always find.